So in the dark days that we're currently witnessing, this is actually something that's positive. This is reported by The Guardian here. U.S. and Venezuela said to agree on sanctions relief and open elections. Reports say announcement likely on Tuesday that would allow uh, banned Maduro opponents to run and oil sanctions to be lifted. So let's get some more of the specifics here. The governments of the U.S. and Venezuela are reportedly poised to announce a deal that could pave the way for sanctions relief on the economically wrecked South American country and for banned opponents of President Nicolas Maduro to compete in next year's election. Anonymous sources quoted by two U.S. media outlets said a scaling back of sanctions on Venezuela's oil industry would be announced on Tuesday after Maduro officials restarted talks with opposition negotiators in Barbados. The news agency Bloomberg... Bloomberg called the move, which comes on the eve of an opposition primary to choose a candidate to challenge Maduro, the first major political concession by the government of Nicolas Maduro in a decade. The Washington Post claimed Venezuela's authoritarian leader would agree to a process for lifting bans on opposition candidates running in the 2024 presidential election, though it is not clear how quickly that process would take place. The U.S. is likely to put a time limit on any sanctions relief so that it could be reversed if Maduro doesn't comply with, with his end of the deal. Norway's foreign minister announced on social media that Venezuela's government and opposition would meet in, in the Barbadian capital, capital, Bridgetown, on Tuesday to re restart the dialogue and negotiation process, which broke down in November last year. Maduro took power after the death of his mentor Hugo Chavez in March 2013, but has led the, their country into a devastating economic and humanitarian slump that has seen millions of citizens flee overseas. He became an international pariah following Venezuela's 2018 election, which was widely denounced as a fraud. So by the way, look, a lot of his own decisions helped wreck his country, but at the same time, there's also been tremendous U.S. economic sanctions on Venezuela, which also have a colossal impact on civilian populations. So let's be clear about that. Um, now, the U.S. wants that oil, and that's why we made this deal, and that shouldn't surprise anybody. If you look at the situation with Russia and Ukraine, uh, that's one reason uh, we want to make sure we keep the oil flowing. Um, if you look at our currently tenuous relationship with Saudi Arabia, where we're kind of, everybody's waffling on it a little bit, that's another reason we want the oil. So it's sort of out of desperation that we're like, well, we can go to Venezuela and try to get some of their oil. So it's kind of a political necessity that we do it. So there are ulterior motives here, but look, of course there's going to be ulterior motives. There's always ulterior motives in politics. And overall, I think this is a step in the right direction. Now, do you trust Maduro and take him at his word? No, but that's why this deal is structured where they're not taking him at his word. It's, you know, they'll judge the election and see whether or not they think it's fair. Um, and look, what do we have? Pedro Gustavo, I think, um, leftist president elected. AMLO, of course, in Mexico, leftist president elected. Lula, leftist president elected in Brazil. And shockingly, under Biden, it wasn't like, okay, they elected a leftist president and immediately let's try to do a CIA coup. Biden has actually, um, you know, open, uh, has decided to work with Lula with open arms and has not been meddling as much as previous administrations. I mean, Trump tried to do a coup in Venezuela. You guys remember that with Juan Guaido pretending like he's president when he's not president of Venezuela. That was incredibly comical, but also insane. Um, and so, look, this is a step in the right direction for sure. I hope we relieve the sanctions, which will help Venezuelan civilians. Um, and outside of that, whatever sort of business deal we make with them, it is what it is, and I'd rather have uh, an open business relationship than I would anger and hatred and vitriol and sanctions and an embargo and being on the verge of a coup and all the negative other things that have happened and may continue to happen. But uh, whatever got us to this place, being pushed in a corner when it comes to oil production, uh, I'm happy that we're here. I think we should do the same thing vis-a-vis -vis Cuba. Um and I think we should continue to make peace deals all over the place as much as humanly possible. So definitely a step in the right direction and much welcome news at a time when everything is dark. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.